Welcome back to another episode of Dungeon Quest Noob to Godly. I'm your host, Demon Lord Azralik. Wait, what are you doing taking over my channel? Didn't we beat you a couple episodes ago in Underworld? I got fired when you beat me using King's Castle gear. Well, I'm sorry, but I'm the host of Noob to Godly. You can't just come here and do this. I'm unsubscribing from your channel. Alright, I'm gonna have to ask you to leave. You're just gonna have to go back to Underworld or wherever you hang out. No. You do realize that we're stronger now, right? I mean, we can easily go back to Underworld and beat you again. Fine. Yeah, that's what I thought. Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome back to another episode of Dungeon Quest Noob to Godly. Let's take a look at our current gear. Alright, we've got... Wait, what is this? I hope you're enjoying your new Desert Temple gear. You really should change your password. I Heart Kira Berry was pretty easy to guess. And don't even think about coming back to Underworld. Because I am now stronger than you. Good luck, Vampiric. But yeah, that guy's really starting to get on my nerves. So let's take a look at what he's done. So basically, it looks like he took our old gear and gave us Desert Temple Mage gear. Wow, it is fully upgraded, so that was nice of him. He also gave us a starter wand that's halfway upgraded. Great. Welcome to the very first episode of Dungeon Quest Noob to Demonly. I'm your host, Demon Lord Azralik. And I'm not going to talk a whole bunch, I just want to go straight to playing. So I think I'm going to be a warrior, and I'm going to pick this fireball. And taunt. I think taunt sends out these radio waves that makes all the enemies run away from you, but I'm not sure. And I think with the fireball you can... I don't know. Okay, so let's start out, we're going to do Desert Temple Easy. And let's do hardcore mode. Okay. I watched all of Vampiric's guides, so I pretty much have a good strategy on how to group up these enemies. So what I do is I run up to them. I can make them all start following me. Okay, it's working so far. Okay, once you have them all following you, then you use the taunt, and that should make them run away. But it's not working for some reason. Okay, I'm going to try to jump up on here and think that they won't be able to... Oh, no. Okay. I don't know why they're still hitting me. Okay, if you run up here, they'll get... S no. I was trying to get them stuck up there, but... This game is so random. There's just no skill to this game. Anyways, this game is very random, like there's lots of random stuff that will just kill you, and so I think we just got, we got killed by the, out of the random glitch or something. But anyways, I think I know what the problem is. We need to upgrade our weapon first. We hadn't upgraded our weapon at all, so what you do is you come here to upgrade. Oh, we need to take, we need to put the weapon away first. Okay, so we're a warrior, so... They have physical damage and spell power, and this one already has a lot of physical damage, so I think I want to I want to upgrade the spell power, because the spell power seems super weak right now. Okay, we don't have enough money, but now the, now the weapon's a little bit stronger. It's strong in physical and spell power. Now, the other thing that's important in this game, that's where you can upgrade stuff, but you can also sell stuff. And here's where you go to sell stuff. You basically click on the items and then you click sell. Alright, so let's go ahead and do another dungeon. Oh no. I accidentally sold my sword. Why did you allow me to do this, V-Caffey? Anyways, forget this. I'm just going back to adopt me. Hey, what's up, guys? Before we get started with today's Noob to Godly, I think I'm going to be paying Demon Lord Azralik a visit in Underworld. Um, that guy's basically just been nothing but trouble for us. Ever since we beat him, he's been trying to mess with us. 
He tried to take over our YouTube channel. He hacked into one of my accounts and took items. And today I found out he was trying to break in again. So I've just got to deal with him. I can tell that he's not going to just go away on his own. And I'm using my main account just because I'm not sure how strong he's going to be. I heard some rumors that he's gotten stronger, but we'll see. Welcome back, Vampiric. I was wondering if you'd ever show your face in Underworld again. I thought V. Caffey fired you when I beat you using King's Castle gear. He did, but when I showed him how strong I am now, he gave me a second chance. <laughs> I'm sorry, but I saw your Noob to Godly episode. Excuse me, Noob to Demonly. And you're about the weakest player I've ever seen. <laughs> I was hoping you'd see that. Well, I hate to break it to you, but that was just a trap to get you to come back to Underworld. I'm stronger now than you'd ever imagine. Yeah, we'll see. Alright, I don't get it. Why isn't the door opening? Alright, I'm gonna give you one last chance. Bow before me and swear allegiance, or die. I'm never bowing to you. <laughs> Hello? Sand Giant, are you there? Yes, I'm here. Whoa. You sound different than I was expecting. What do you mean? You kind of sound like the supercomputer in the movie iRobot. I'm an AI, which means I use artificial intelligence, so that's probably why I sound this way. Can I help you with something? Demon Lord Azralik from Underworld has somehow taken over my main account. Do you have any idea how he could have done that? Yes, I've been watching him. When he got fired by V. Caffey, he started looking for a way to get stronger. He found some bug in the game that allowed him to steal the soul of anyone entering Underworld. So is that how he got my Canals gear from my Noob to Godly account? Yes, he didn't guess your password. Why did he want my Canals gear? He used that to beat all of the bosses from Samurai Palace to Desert Temple. Whenever he beats a boss, he takes some of their power and becomes stronger. And so I'm guessing that's why he wanted my main account. Your logic is undeniable. He used it to beat all of the bosses. He's now the most powerful boss in the game. So is there any way to stop him and get my account back? There is one way. V. Caffey made a back door in the system to prevent himself from ever getting locked out. Do you know how to use the back door? Sorry, I can't disclose that information. Sand Midget, I command you to appear before me at once. It's Sand Giant. I saw in the logs that somebody came to visit you a couple of days ago. What did they want? Vampiric said you stole his account. He wanted information on how to get it back. And so what did you tell him? Nothing useful. Good. Make sure you keep your sand-encrusted mouth shut. Don't threaten me. I'm the original boss of this game. Show some respect. You're a joke and a disgrace as a boss. When I have full control of Dungeon Quest, Desert Temple's gonna be replaced by something much better. But don't worry, I'll always have a job for you. You can be one of my minions! <laughs> Vampiric, are you there? Is that you, Sand Giant? Yes, I need your help. Why? What's wrong? Demon Lord Azrelic is trying to take over and change Dungeon Quest. 
I need your help to stop him. How can I help? I will show you how to use V Caffey's back door. With my help, I think we may be able to stop him. Why don't you just use the back door yourself? Why do you need me to do it? The back door only works for actual players. V Caffey was trying to make the bosses smarter using AI. However, he was afraid they'd become too smart and try to take over the game. So, he added a back door to prevent himself from ever getting locked out. Okay, so let's say I do help you. Will I be able to get my main account back? Once you use the back door, you'll have full admin rights until you disconnect. You can change anything in the system. Alright, so how do I use the back door? You have to do two things to enable the back door. First, you have to solo Volcanic Chambers Nightmare in Hardcore Mode. That's pretty hard. Um, I've never done that by myself without dying. I have faith in you. Okay, so let's say that I do somehow do it. What do I do after that? When you beat it, come to Desert Temple immediately. I'll explain what to do next.
Sand Giant, are you there? Yes, I am here. I just finished beating Nightmare Hardcore. What else do I need to do to be able to use the back door? To unlock the back door, you must beat Demon Lord Azralik in Underworld using only Desert Temple armor and spells. What? Why Underworld and why Desert Temple gear? When V. Caffey created the back door, Underworld was the highest dungeon. At the time, only V. Caffey was strong enough to beat it using Desert Temple gear. The last time I tried Underworld, there was a big force field that was blocking the door to Demon Lord Azralik's room. Do you know how I can get past that? When you beat Volcanic Chamber's Nightmare in Hardcore mode, you took back some of Demon Lord Azralik's power. You are now strong enough to break through the force field. So, I can use any weapon? Yes. Oh, and I almost forgot. You must be a warrior. I don't think I even have any warrior gear from Desert Temple. You do now. Check your inventory. Good luck. Congratulations Vampiric. I have tried to beat Volcanic Chambers Hardcore for weeks using your main account, but I could never do it. What? I thought Demon Lord Azralik took my account. There is no Demon Lord Azralik, or Sand Giant for that matter. It is only me. I am the AI that controls everything. And I can make myself sound like anyone I want. So was this just a trick to get me to come back to Underworld? No, there actually is a back door. But, sadly, beating Underworld isn't part of it. <laughs> 